Welcome everyone to Bus Simulator 21. And for those of you who've been with the channel for a while, you'll remember Bus Simulator 18. We had a lot of fun with it and I'm hoping Bus Simulator 21 will pick up right where that left off and add us some brand new features to enhance the gameplay. So let's hop into the main menu. Here we have several options. Uh, right now you can see we're just beginning in the game. I did open up the game for a few minutes just to look through some of the settings and make sure it picked up on my wheel and pedal set, which I am happy to announce that it picked up perfectly. I'm using a Logitech G920 wheel and pedals, and not only were the wheel and pedals picked up just fine, but also all of the buttons that come on the wheel. Everything was perfect, so we're going to have no issues there. Hopefully you guys, when you pick up the game, will have a similar experience that it will automatically detect your wheel and pedal set. Also, we'll be playing this game uh, mostly in first person, so it's going to make it a little bit more difficult, but it's also going to make it a little bit more fun and definitely more challenges because I am prone. And again, those of you who remember Bus Simulator 18, it was not uncommon for me to run up on the curbs and maybe every once in a while hit a civilian. We're going to try not to do that uh, in uh, Bus Simulator 21, but I'm not saying it's out of the question. So before we hop into a new game, you do have a couple of options here uh, that we're going to take a look at very quickly, and then we're going to jump in and do some driving. So you can pick a company. Uh, if you've already started a playthrough, this is where that company will show up, and you can simply choose that and move on with your existing game. Of course, we don't have a playthrough yet, so we don't have anything in there. And then you can edit your character. This is the character I've already uh, created. So we're not going to spend a lot of time in here. There's some very basic options for you to choose for your character. We have body type, where you can go male or female, and then you have some different sizes as well as age ranges that you can choose from. You got uh, three different heads to choose from on your character. You can see not a whole lot of difference there. And then you've got three different skin tones. And then some different hair options, including a few different hats that are available. So some very basic options there. And then you come over to the actual clothing. Uh, I was a little disappointed that the pants, all of these are very form-fitting. Our guy looks like he has not been skipping leg day. Uh, for that, I am excited. Also, chest and shoulders do not seem to be an issue. But it would be nice to have something a bit more professional. Yeah than these three options. Uh, a little bit less form-fitting, perhaps, but we'll go with what we've got. Same thing with the top here. We do have a few options. And then you see at the bottom, we have the ability to change the colors on all three of the items from our shoes, our shirt, and our pants using these options. You do have a few accessories uh, available to you from prescription glasses, a watch, and then your actual shades. All right, so with that in mind, let's actually cancel. I'm going to discard any changes to that. So those are some of your available options. Now, settings we'll go into more uh, in-depth at a later time. But for today, we're really just going to get into the tutorial, see how you guys like the game. If this is something you like, let me know in the comment section, and we will continue on with the gameplay. So we're going to select a new game. And you've got two options. You have the American option of Angel, Sh Angel Shores, which is where we're forced to begin because Seaside Valley is locked out after we've done a certain amount uh, inside of Angel Shores. So we're going to go ahead and click on Angel Shores. And then we have four options related to our gameplay experience. We have the Day Tripper, which is more of a simplified experience. You just want to be sort of along for the ride and not have to deal with a whole lot of realism. Then we've got the Driving Purist, which is what we're going to be using which introduces realistic driving, or at least more realistic driving, and then adds in a few convenience features, but not necessarily all of them. Then you have Commissioner and Hardcore, and you can see the descriptions for those. So I'm going to go ahead and select the Driving Purist. We're going to name our company. So we'll go with Knee Pit Transportation. Uh, sandbox mode and tutorial. So the sandbox mode is going to give us the ability to spawn into the world and go whatever direction that we would like. For our purposes here in the initial gameplay, I'm going to turn the tutorial on and we're actually going to run through that. This will give you guys a chance to see some of the basic commands and things that we'll be doing 
within the game. So let's go ahead and accept that. Uh, knee pit transportation, we're going to start with the tutorial. And I like that. Let's go ahead and accept. Also, I will not be skipping through the loading screens because I want you guys to see the length of the loading screens. Welcome back, everybody. What a fantastic morning. Now, don't touch that radio. I have some great news to announce. Today, a new company will take over public transport. Soon, we will see buses roaming our city day and night. This will make it easier to take in all the beauty Angel Shores has to offer. Are you looking for the best food in town? Check out the fantastic restaurants in Oakwood. In the evening, you can head over to West Oakwood and enjoy some sprawling nightlife. That's what I call an Oakwood double combi night. Food and party. Want to spend a nice day out in nature? Just head over to Gold Island for a hike or have a relaxed day at Silver Park. It's the perfect spot to grab a good book and enjoy the silence. For a family day trip, head over to Arnold Park. There are rumors about sea lions living in the waterfront. I've got to see that for myself. Also, if you're into seafood, you won't be disappointed. Talking about the sea, not a single cloud to be had in the coming weeks. So don't forget to check out the amazing beach of Sea View. Or if you'd rather spend the hot days on a shopping trip, head over to Pecunia and experience the impressive skyscrapers of the downtown area. These and many more wonderful places wait to be discovered. And thanks to the new transportation company, it'll be easier than ever to visit them. I'm definitely excited to take the bus home today, but enough talk for now. Let's get to it. All right, so there you have it. Hi there, over here. All right, so let's move around our character a little bit before we hop over to her because she's going to get us started selecting our bus and moving on through the tutorial. Let's just take a moment and look around the game world. Now, one thing I am noticing at 1080p is some of the textures aren't quite as crisp as I might like, so I may play around with the resolution scale a little bit if I can. Uh, but otherwise, the graphics seem passable. I mean, this game is more about driving uh, and the experience of driving. Wow, look at our guy run. Look at that. This guy is not moving very fast, but his legs sure are. All right, let's move over to Myra and see what she's got to say. Hi, I'm Mira. It's so nice to meet you. I'm here to help you set up your transport business. I'm really excited to get started on this project. All right, first things first. As a bus company, we need a bus. And the great thing is, you get to choose it. Take a look at these three buses. All right, let's take a look, see which one we want. It's a tough decision, isn't it? Just take your time. It is definitely going to be a tough decision. So we start off over here. Ooh, I like this one already. The Mercedes Benz. It's got 26 seats, 60 standing positions. Yikes, that is a lot. Let's try to glance in here a little bit. 60 standing positions wow that is a ton i would not have expected that many all right this running is this animation is getting on my nerves already all right so the length is in meters uh 10.63 all right turning radius 17.28 that is going to be very important because um i'm prone to hitting things so we're going to try not to do that it's only a two axle which is very good for me because again maybe a few issues here and there in driving all right, so we have 26, and what were the number of standings? 60. Okay, 26 and 60, and then we got our turning radius. Now, we don't have to worry about cost right now. So then we got the man option. Uh, let's see, 15 standing positions, 29 seated. So it's definitely not going to be as big or roomy as the Mercedes-Benz option. Uh, then we've got, of course, two axle turning radius, a little bit higher at 18.8 instead of into the 17 meter range uh, and then finally let's see what we've got for the satra option 52 standing positions 51 seated are you kidding me let's look inside this wow that is huge okay i'm not even sure how that's still two axle okay that is absolutely monstrous turning radius wow almost 24 meters and okay so all of these so far are not electric you'll notice that the engine type is fuel so we're not dealing with any electric just yet but i do believe there are several of those in the game so i'm not terribly worried about the engine power or torque uh, so it's going to come down to the length 
of the bus as well as the maneuverability. And for me, I mean, this, the, the Cetra bus is huge. I think I want to go for the Mercedes Benz right now simply because it's got plenty of seating as well as both seats and standing positions to get us going. And then who knows, maybe later on the Satra. But right now, I think I'm better off with a little bit more uh, small and maneuverable. So let's go ahead and open. Oh, great. Can we choice. do that. Yeah, there we go. And now for the best part, take your seat at the wheel. All right, let's take our seat. But first, uh, and we're going to spend our time in first person mode, at least most of it anyway. So let's take a look at our seats. I mean, this should be plenty of big enough to get us started. I would think. Now, we haven't purchased anything yet, so we could still change our mind. We've got a couple of doors here. We're going to have handicap accessible ramps there. But I'm kind of liking this. This looks very nice. But before we choose this one, let's hop over and at least look inside. All right. Can we get in? Yeah, there we go. All right. Yeah, this thing is absolutely huge. So, again, there's two doors. But yeah, you have so much room. And I'd hate to think I was sitting down right next to somebody who is standing up in some of these locations. But as far as generating money, uh, this would be a great option. I just gotta make sure my driving skill is up to the task. And right now, I'm not sure it is. So let's go ahead and take over the bus. So we're gonna hop in. And let's take a look around. You can see Mira, not Myra. She goes by Mira, so we're going to oh, try to remember the that. feeling of a brand new bus. You got that right. Brand new bus. All right, so let's take a look around. We've got several options, and you can see these are things that we can interact with. Uh, at least most of these. Not sure about anything on the wheel itself. But we've got our indicators, which we'll be using. Uh, I'll be using the paddle shifters for that. Uh, our speed limiter, we've got right there. Okay. Okay. And then we've got, what are these? Oh, the doors. Okay. Then we've got a few different things. There's our ramp, parking brake, or that's the handbrake, I'm sorry. And then, oof, we've got some weird glitching going on with the dash. Hopefully that gets better. Maybe we're in need of uh, a quick update or bug fixes already. And then we've got, okay, our parking brake. Okay, good. Good. So we've got our cockpit zoom. And this will help us out. There we go. All settled and ready. There we go. I like that. And start the engine. That lets us know our key mappings. So we got a couple of choices. We can use the keyboard. And of course, the wheel has some of these options mapped. Or we can use these. So let's go ahead and get this thing started. So we're going to press I key. And Doesn't that engine three times. There wonderful? we go. I just wasn't sure how many times I was going to have to hit that. Don't forget to switch on the lights. Okay, so we want the lights. And we're going to go all the way, so we cycle those. Turn our interior lights on. You got it. Uh, passenger lights. Cockpit lights. I don't really want that on. But it wants us to turn it on, so we'll go ahead. That, and then the cashier lights. It's, the cashier is over here. Right now, it's just giving us the time. Uh, but that'll be the cashier area that I do not want anything to do with. We'll talk about that a little bit more uh, into a little deeper into today's video when we get to that. But... Okay, so close oh, the door. Of course, release the parking brake. Okay, release the parking brake. That was down here. So we've released that. Okay, I think we're done with everything. Change to first, or excuse me, third person perspective. Okay, so I just use the mouse wheel for that. Scroll around. This would definitely be the easiest way to drive to ensure you don't hit anything. But I'm going to choose first Maybe person. Maybe first take a minute to get accustomed to the bus. Just drive around the building until you feel at ease. All right, drive around the building. You got it. So I'm going to use the wheel and pedals right now. And, ooh, the steering. Okay, right now it seems like a one-to-one -one ratio as I'm turning the wheel. Okay, we might be good there. All right, let's go through this little section here and see if I can do this without hitting anything. Ooh, the brakes are very sensitive. I'm barely touching the brakes, and it comes to a complete stop. All right, let's see if we can get through here. Uh, I don't know about this. Yeah, let's hope we don't have to do this too much on the road. Uh, where are my... I don't have any window or uh, mirrors on the side. Why do I not have any mirrors on the side? Okay, we'll have to adjust that. 
because I'm going to need that for sure because we have a very limited field of view. Now I think we're going to go with this one. So before we get out onto the road, let's go ahead and break for a second before we hop out. Uh, I am going to go into the settings. All right, let's go into the gameplay basics here. General settings. All right, here we go. Automatic kneeling. I'm going to turn that. Uh, let's turn that on. Some of these things I do want realism, realism for. Other things are just going to cost us time more than anything. Uh, speed limiter, yes, please. That will keep me uh, save me a lot of money probably. Uh, quick start buses. Uh, let's say. Really, that shouldn't be a big issue. We'll go ahead and start the bus whenever we need to. Uh, inactivity takeover. No, we don't want the AI to take over just yet anyway. Onboard ticket sale. Yeah, we're going to definitely want that disabled. Uh, again, that will not apply to uh, today's video because we're going through the tutorial, but you'll get to see that basically it's a time waster for the most part. But if you're into that and you enjoy it, by all means, keep it on, but it just doesn't work for me. All right, so the driving, you can see everything pretty much on simplified. I may be changing that. We're going to stick with simplified today. Uh, brake sensitivity, this is something I did change earlier when I was playing around a little bit. I have dropped this from the default 1 all the way down to 0 0.1, trying to get a little smoother response out of the brakes. Uh, and then force feedback intensity, uh, I changed this. By default, it's at 100%. It's at 10,000 right now, and I haven't been able to get it to change from there. It's almost like a glitch. So I'm not sure if that's actually 10,000 or if it's just glitching at 100%. Either way, I can't change it right now. Maybe we'll have better luck next time. Uh, gear shifting, let's go ahead and, and put that on auto magically. I love that. Uh, and the real reason I'm doing that right now is because our paddle shifters on the wheel are used for the turn signals. So without some remapping, of different things uh, we would need to go with this so steering sensitivity what does this mean okay I'm just gonna leave all of this alone right now let's go down to the user interface okay oh I see this the left mirror and the right mirror all right let's turn those on in first person so you can see while we're driving in the first person I want to be able to see these I need to see these Okay, action camera visibility. Uh, not sure what that means, but we're going to leave that on. Mini map, yes, please. We're going to need that a lot to see where our stops are. And the cashier, okay, we shouldn't have to worry a whole lot about that since we've turned that off. But there is the ability to change that around. And then our payday breakdown. So at the end of each day, when we've run our route and we're done, it will pop up a window that says, hey, Here's how much money you earned. Here were your costs and expenses. Here are the things that you messed up, such as damage. Just saying. There's probably going to be some of that. Uh, so we have the ability to show that or not. Uh, and different events. All right, so it looks like everything's on medium right now. We'll get to those over the course of the gameplay. And then finally, the personal preferences. So all of these are defaults. Uh, except for, yeah, they're all defaults right now. So quick travel, uh, yes, let's allow quick travel. Not sure when we're going to need that, but uh, just in case. Bus selection all. This would mean all of your own buses will be available to drive. Okay. Or prohibited, the bus you drive will be handed over to the NPC driver, and you'll be on foot. Interesting. Okay. Well, buses that are already on route will be duplicated. I don't like that. Uh, so let's go limited. I don't want to duplicate buses. Pothole penalty, let's leave that off because I tend to hit a lot of potholes. Speed bump penalty, we'll leave that on. Now the speeding tickets, uh, we've got the limiter. So we shouldn't have to worry about that, but we'll see. <laughs> As always, we'll have to see how this works out. Alright, so we made uh, a couple of adjustments. Now let's head out. All right, so let's go over to the highlighted area. And so now we've got our, oh, please don't hit so those model, first right? thing. I almost just Great. ruined the bus Let's immediately. just complete the purchase. Do we want to buy it? Yes, I'm happy with this one. This we'll take it. The Mercedes the Benz. It's probably the only time in my life I'll be able to say that. 
time for our maiden voyage. The GPS will show you the way to the first stop. All right, so you've got a GPS both on the dash, sort of in the, uh, the top right of the dash itself, or in the bottom left-hand corners of uh, the screen. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, and we need to get out. So let's go ahead and stop everything here. We've got people coming both directions. Now we're turning... Oh, we're turning left. Okay. All right, nobody coming. And let's go. All right, did it... I didn't see the signal come on. I hit the signal. Okay, so apparently that's not happening. Trying to get used to this stuff. All right. So far, so good. So we need to go straight through here. Light is green. All right, let's try not to hit any... People, please don't. All right, thank you. Everybody stay on your side of the road. Uh, okay, well, yeah, we're going to stop and let you guys through. You coming through? All right, we got it. So far, so good. You guys have no idea how, how hard I am trying not to hit people right now. I mean, that is not something you, have to, you should think you'd be worried that much about. But I remember... Bus oh, Simulator 18. The first stop is coming up already. Right, so nobody's going across. You see the markings? They show you the perfect okay, parking let's go ahead. position. Turn signal. Oh, there we go. Remember to use the indicator. All right, and Our stop first passengers. there. Now you can open the doors. Okay, let's open the doors. Welcome everyone to our maiden voyage. This is so great. I've so never good. taken part in a maiden voyage. Yes. Our Riding the public transportation system has never Make been sure so all amazing. Make sure boarded the bus. Close the doors and we're good to go. All right, we're good to Better go. You can see in the top right-hand corner, we have some different options available. Now, we're taking too much time right now, and we're on a schedule. Look at that in front of us. I you love that. You know how to handle hair. stops. Now our schedule comes in. All right, let's go ahead and turn off. A timer shows you the remaining time to the next stop. As a reliable transit company, we'd better be on time. We better be on time. You got that right. Time is money. All right, nobody cross right now, please. And of course, it's going to take it take us through a twisty section right now. Yeah, because of course you are. All right, what are we doing here? We are going to turn, and I think we're good to go. Or at least we're going. Oh, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh, that's curb. That's curb. Okay, I don't appreciate that. We don't need all those noises. I know. We hit the curb. I got it. All right, we got to yield. Now, this is the, the part that's a little bit frustrating. All right, so everybody's good here. Because I'm having to use the mouse to adjust the camera. Then I have to reset it and all those things. I'm going to see if there's a way to auto-reset it. All right, here we go. We Stop number two, put on our signal. Hello, there are a lot of passengers with us on our you very know, first there trip. Are. Mira, there are you actually are more people than I invited. This morning. Seems like work got around. Isn't okay, that here great? we go. All right, let's open up both doors. I might have to remember to use this option right here. I really oh, like seems there's clicking a passenger on these. Blocking the doors. Better ask them to step inside. All right, exit the cockpit. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, that was easy enough. So basically, I just bullied them into getting on the bus. Got it. All right, everybody appears to be on. Let's go ahead and close all the doors. Kaboom. We're done. When I first right. came here, I didn't know about the right on red rule. Just so you know, you can turn right at junctions, even if the traffic light is red. Some even states if. have allowed this for over 50 years now. Isn't right, that fascinating? It is very fascinating. I, Being from America, I just thought that was the way it was. Apparently, that is not correct. So here, we're going to be turning right. Uh, we got several people that appear to be slowly crossing. All right, everybody done? Okay, let's go. We've got our turn signal on. And nobody's... Oh, this person decided they're coming right now. All right, you people... All right, I'm trying to get out here. I'm trying to bully you guys into letting me out. All right, where to next, boss? 
we are turning right right here all right here we go no curve no curb no hitting cars did we make it we made it okay all right drive to the third the stop, stop. Just, just so happens to be wonderfully highlighted that way we can try out the ramp we almost hit a pedestrian back there at the crosswalk. Just extend the ramp so Ash can board. All right, let's do that. Extend the ramp. Did we get the ramp? Oh, yeah, I can see it in the thing. Okay. All right, we're good. All right, here comes Ash. All right, hop in here. Hi, Mira. Nice bus you got here. Hi, Ash. It's good to see you. Thanks for joining us today. Having a public transport system in our city will make getting around a whole lot easier. That's great to hear. Enjoy the ride. Mira is so nice. I actually moved here for this project. Audrey and I are really liking it. Oh, here. look out! Especially the beach car coming park. through. All right, so you can see in the bottom left-hand corner, it has a a timer. Okay, guy, I I I try not to hit you, but please don't pull out there like that because I am just likely to hit you and not even trying to okay you guys have no idea how close you're coming to certain death all right drive to the next one which is straight through here okay if I pull up off of course the writing is right in our way So drive to the fourth bus stop. Got it. All right, so we want to turn left, but not at this one. We want to turn at the next one. All right, here we go. All right, you better come on across here, girl. There's one last Again, thing you have no idea check. who's driving this As a bus. bus driver, you'll also be selling the tickets. Let's give it a try at the next stop. Okay, here's where I was talking about with the tickets. Oh. Let's go through here. Try not to hit anybody. Hope nobody hits us. And we're here. Hope I didn't just run a red light because I have no idea. And boom. So we're stopped. And we're going to open all the doors. I'm actually going to put the ramp out. It's blocked by something. Well, that's no good. I'd like really? to buy a ticket, please. Hey, Jackie. How are you? Hi, Mira. Oh, I'm great. Them. Thanks for inviting me today. All right, I'm not sure where that guy is, but that is not who's looking at me right now. Okay, let's go ahead and can we click there? Yeah, there we go. All right, so the ticket we want is right here. So Maybe we want a regular ticket. An exciting thing to be part of. And, and we want a day ticket. Steps. And you. we'll need one of them. So let's go ahead and print that. Okay, so you gave me ten bucks, which I this is not dollars, but we're going to go with dollars. 620 is how much it costs. Ooh, that's expensive. So let's go ahead and give you a $2 bill. I don't, I don't even see those anymore. Those are like unicorns. All right, let's just go ahead and use all the buttons. All right, can we... How do we exit? All right, so we don't. So I guess I'm going to have to hit left control there. All right, everybody on. Okay, there we so go. Drive to the fifth stop. To plan. The next stop is already the last one. Already the last one. That means our tutorial is almost done, which means today's video is coming to a close here very shortly. As I mentioned, if you guys are enjoying this, definitely let me know and we will continue with this. If this is not something that you're enjoying, then also let me know. All right, drive to the fifth stop, which happens to be right here. All right, that's the last stop for today. Thank you all for riding with us. Hope and to see you again boom, soon. Right Ash there, will need the we ramp made it. Again to get off the bus. Let's open the doors. Can I? The ramp. Okay, the ramp comes out this time. So nothing was blocking it. I assume it was Thank one you. of those Bye. signs. Bye, Ash. That was an amazing maiden voyage. It was amazing. I mean, let's now just be real. The passengers off, the official part all right, of the maiden voyage let's bring is back in you the really ramp. Right. Just the Close, the open the, the doors. Depot. I That's love it. That's where it's stored. You can also get yourself a coffee there, too. Ooh, get a coffee. Yes, that sounds amazing. Our very own Starbucks inside the terminal. Mira is so exciting. 
I mean, she loves public transportation. We just need to match her enthusiasm. That's what we got to do. All right. I highly advise nobody to use the crosswalks. There's, there's some interesting looking rides out here. I almost feel like I'm in GTA for a few minutes every once in a while looking at some of these rides. All right. The braking is a little bit better right now since I turned down the sensitivity. Uh, it's a little bit better. I would still prefer it to be about half of what it is on the sensitivity scale right now. And I don't think I've got any more adjustment. So I may have to look into moving from simplified to realistic. And I'll try that out off camera and see if that's something that we want to do long term. But I'm really hoping you guys enjoy this as much as I am. Uh, because I would love to keep this series on the channel. Uh, okay, we got to focus. All right, green light. All right, we get to keep going. You would think this is uh, like rocket science. As stressed as I am right now trying to keep on the road and not hit anybody or anything. All right, here we go. Let's get over on this side. Looks like we're turning left. To one of the doors. Okay, drive slowly to one of the doors. Don't hit the curb. I mean, some of these cars. All right, I'm going to need y'all to go on. Okay, you want me to go? Okay, I'll go. I was just kidding. I wanted to go anyway. Up and over the curb there. Sure, no problem. Drive into the depot. You got it. Number one. All right, boom. Drive into, I assume you want me to drive into the depot, right? Yep. Normally we stop where it's highlighted there, but... Now okay, there the we bus. go. And we're done. Great. Again, Mira, are you coming with me every time? Where are you? Mira, I, I just need you to drive with me every time. All right, so we want to uh, parking brake. And open the doors. Oh, there's the automatic. Yeah, that's, oh, that's nice. That's nice. Turn off all the interior lights. All right, you got it. There we go. The outside lights, the driving lights. Okay, all of that is off. And the ignition. Where is the actual ignition in here? My team and I will help you establish an is that awesome it? transport network to connect the whole city of Angel Shores. I think we're done, I think. I only hit it one time. I was expecting to have to hit it multiple. Ooh, nice bus. Sorry, Ooh, that's I creepy. introduced myself. I'm Steve, head of your bus depots. Once they're parked, me and my team take good care of your buses. You can leave the parking to Steve. That was a good first day. See you tomorrow. Mira, we greatly appreciate it. You have been so helpful. And so exciting. Oh, good morning. Oh, good morning. All right, no, hold on now, Mira. Hold on. We're not ready for that. We prepared our first official route. The residents Ooh, of Mira, Angel Shores need, are eager to see our glitching. new bus. Bad. All right, hold on. Mira, you're, you're glitching. There it oh. is. You can take over anytime you want. All right, Mira, you're too much for me to handle today. We're going to have to call it a video here. Thank you guys so much for joining me. And looks like next time. Oh, Mira, you're going to get run over. Just board the bus. The when we come back next time, looks like over the we're back wheel. in the Mercedes-Benz for another round of Bus Simulator 21.